Well, hi there. Here we are. It's been a couple days, um, a week or so, and we have the black plastic down. So we are one step closer. <laughs> uh, we're gonna try and lay these rocks down and uh, see if we can make some progress so that we can enjoy this here at the end of the season. I can't believe how quickly it's going. Uh, definitely getting colder, very cold in the evenings and morning. Uh, surprisingly so. I always love with the change of the seasons, um, watching how the light changes. And since this was just the first year in our home, it was neat to see it all for the first time. So we saw all of the summer light and now we're back to the fall light, which I do love. Um, and I'll get to share more of that as the season goes. So yeah, we really just had space to do one roll down the middle and we just had the material, so I was gonna go ahead and throw it under the rocks and uh, we'll see how we put this together, like a puzzle. We just grabbed random uh, scrap pieces, so. Wow, they seriously do smell so good. <laughs> this is the variety heirloom. Okay, so how fun was that, right? We were just piecing them all together and uh, laying them out. It was taking a while and then it just felt like they were coming together. Like this piece wants to go here, it wants to go here. And then you kind of saw me like awkwardly step where it wasn't working. So that's kind of like the next level that I want to show you. Like you just gotta like throw some stuff out, it'll spark ideas, and then you'll see what's not working and then you can just sit with it and see what you need to change. Um, and I'll show you right here at the beginning. Okay, so right here, how we obviously have this lovely giant step and then right here, it like doesn't really go to that great of a place. I guess you can go here. So it works. Um, also another thing, uh, learn from me and remember to level this before you lay this out. That's the downfall of taking months to do a project. You forget what you have and haven't done and you just like want to jump in and get going. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of going to do a round two here. I'm thinking of moving this one out so you have more of a step, um, away from here and starting with the long one and then these I might switch out here. Uh, but seriously, it's so beautiful already. And for now, we're just going to do gravel in between and then, uh, you know, throw in some ground cover in the spring. Okay, and this is kind of what I'm talking about. The glow of the trees. Aside from the barking dogs, of course. These beautiful clouds are new. We haven't gotten those all summer, really. Except for when it stormed. Oh, but it gets so bright green. It's just so, so different from the evergreens at home in Washington. So, I love it. Also, this is like the first uh, nasturtium that I've successfully grown so abundantly, and I'm really, really excited about it. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. So that was so awesome and so exciting. And just like that, I'm sitting on rocks by the pond, uh, which is, I guess, the third layer I just thought of. I need to make sure it's comfortable to sit on by the pond. Um, and as much as I want to cover this with gravel and finish it right now perfectly, um, we're just going to leave these for a few days just to feel it out. Um, I will probably move some of them around just because I always change my mind and I want to perfect it. Um, and then honestly, it might take us a little time to even out the ground underneath the plastic to make sure that these stay level. Um, I have some extra sand. I might use that under some of them, um, but we might not because um, it really does settle when it rains and 
if I can do less work, I will usually do that in the garden. Um, so yeah, I am so excited and thankful. And here we are. <sighs> Alrighty, so this is what we ended up with. Uh, you can see, take a nice step down. They're a little bit wobbly, got some options here. So yeah, eventually this is gonna be gravel and then we're gonna put in some uh, creeping ground covers. Um, so yeah, like wobbly, uh, see how the ground is sticking up? Yeah, you don't wanna do that. <laughs> you want to remember to uh, level it out before you put your plastic on, but there are a few things that can't be fixed. Um, so low stakes, I'm not worried about it. Um, and already it's so beautiful. This was less than $60 of rocks from the pick pile. And uh, I just can't believe it. I'm gonna have my coffee out here tomorrow. Okay, so I wanted to make sure and make my way down here to share. Uh, it is definitely hanging on strong. It being more shaded over here has definitely helped. Our aromas are just so generous. They have been my favorite to grow. I've grown, I think, five large variety um, tomatoes this year. As you can see, look how wild um, and disheveled I let it get. Um, so yeah, tomato plants, if you don't make sure to stake them up, they will just flop over and continue to grow. Um, and mine have still been happily giving me fruit, so I am not upset about it. Uh, we've harvested several handfuls, um, getting some calendula seeds going over there and yeah it was really fun to see these beds come in because again we learned that it was a lot more shaded than I anticipated because it was hard to gauge with the changing of the sun and then the leaves growing in it was just really hard to know for sure how shaded this would be and the building behind me so um, these just now are getting sickness here in the last two weeks. They hung out the entire summer because they did so well in the shade. Again, we've harvested um, a couple handfuls from here um, and a couple things didn't do well. See, my peppers didn't do well back here because they need the sun, whereas my tomatoes really appreciated it. My tomatoes in the driveway did not do well in all the sun. My peppers loved it up there. So we really learned and felt out so much this year, which is exactly what I wanted to do. Actually, I might use these tonight with dinner, even though they're a little early. Got some chicken. 